Well, welcome. It's a big day for us. It's our revealing of our core values. And it's also the first month that we're recognizing our first core value, which is leadership. But what I need to do first is make sure that I extend thank yous um, because today is not possible without a lot of people. And so I gotta take a minute and acknowledge those people. So I wanna make sure that I acknowledge our administrative staff, um, all of our, our faculty and our teachers. I also wanna make sure that I thank Allure Signs because they helped us create our core value logo. And no lie, it was probably 15 revisions that I mentioned I get real picky about detail. And so thankfully we got through that first process. I do want to thank 1826 Photographic. They've been awesome about helping us capture all of our pictures that have been uploaded to our social media feed, as well as new production film help put um, our video together at the beginning of the year and also put the video together for our core values that you're going to see today. So believe it or not, December 13th, 2017 was one of the best days of my life. Do you know what happened on December 13th, one year ago in this month? Any guesses? I was hired. That was the day I got to become a Laker. And so that was one of the best days. I had worked 20 years in the field of education to get to this point and to be able to be with you. And so the day I was hired was the day I really started thinking about, like, what does it mean to be a Laker? Like, to become a part of you, to step into your school. And so I started to think, like, what would people say? And how would they describe being a Danbury Laker? Like, what would the catchphrase be? And would we all have the same thing that we would say? Let me give you an example. If I say the word Nike, what do you think? Just do it. If I say the word Subway, what do you think? Eat fresh. Eat fresh. All right, little ones might get this one. If I say the word Skittles, what do you think? Taste the rainbow. Last one. Think back to when you were a little kid on the commercials. If I say to you Rice Krispies, what do you think? Snap, crackle, pop. Yes. So let me ask you this. If somebody would say to you, what does it mean to be a Danbury Laker? Step crackle pop. What would you say? Hold on a second. It's a rainbow. So that's where we started, all right? Because my thought was, would we all have the same message? And we, would we all be able to share the same things? As a district, we feel that it's important to not only live by our core values daily, but we want to be able to take time and just pause. Okay, like life is busy, especially right now. It's the busy season. People are crazy, speeding, road rage, shopping, rapping, baking. It's a crazy time. But you know what? Life is crazy. High schoolers, do you remember when you were little? Right? And in a blink, you're here. And little kids, you look at the high school kids and you think, oh, that's a long way off. But in a blink, that's when you're gonna, that you're going to be here. And so I think it's important that we collectively take time and insert a pause. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to insert a pause in our daily schedule, and we're going to take time out to focus on our first core value, which is leadership. Danbury core values define what it means to be a Laker. Our core values are leadership, accountability, kindness, excellence, relationships, and service. Danbury Local Schools is passionate about delivering more than just an education. We believe in developing our next generation leaders, and that begins with our core values, and that begins with you. Of course we want to be a school that delivers a great education. I want you to be ready for the future. I want to make sure that we give you lots of opportunities. I want to make sure that you leave school as a graduate of Danbury Laker, as a graduate of Danbury Schools, and be able to think back to some really fond memories that you have being here. But I also want to make sure that we're intentional about instilling in you something beyond that. And that's where our core values came into play. So in June, just so you know, in June, I sat for a full day with your principals. And we really talked about what are some things that we want to be passionate and we want to live by 
as a Laker. And then in late August, while you guys were still enjoying summer vacation, all of the faculty came together, okay? Bus drivers, teachers, cafeteria workers, paraeducators, all of us came together and really looked at those core values and what they meant and how we were going to define them. And then together, we're going to start living those out. If you follow our social media feeds, you should see that we're trying to be very intentional about hashtagging our pictures with one of our core values. So that no matter what we do, what program we, we, we roll out, what discipline we may have to issue, what new things we bring to the school, that they always tie back to those core values. That we're not just randomly pulling things and doing things, but they're tying back to what we believe in. So today we're focusing on leadership. Someone who is passionate and is a professional leader and role model. They're approachable and they listen. They encourage and they model positive and professional behaviors. They're active participants. They do what's right, even when it's not popular. We're actively encouraging and modeling positive behaviors. Our honorees were nominated by students and staff here at Danbury Schools. These five individuals stood out as representatives of, core, of our core value of leadership. Now, we had over 70 nominations for this award. The quality and caliber of the students and the staff and the community members who were nominated made this decision process incredibly difficult. But the five people selected really are shining examples of what we believe it means to be, have leadership, that core value. And so what we want to do over the next couple of minutes is we just want to recognize these individuals and present them with a certificate um, and really just celebrate what they do and the example that they set for our school. Mm -hmm. Molly Rozier is our first leadership award winner. So Molly, if I can have you stand. A great school district can't exist without the support of its community. And we have such a great community behind us here at Danbury. Molly exemplifies the kind of community leadership it takes to help all of us succeed. Molly manages the Jamestown Tavern, and she tirelessly uses this platform to raise money for local students and family in next year need. Let me tell you, there's a huge difference in a child that comes to school hungry, short on supplies, dressed in clothes that aren't warm enough, versus a student who comes here with all its basic needs met. Just think about her recent efforts to raise money for the Miller family during their time of need. Millie, or Molly is a supporter of our athletes, hosting team feeds before and after sporting events. As a pillar of our Marblehead business community, she helps spread labor spirits as the windows of Jamestown frequently show. I just learned this, but Molly also took in one of our students a few years ago. She took in the student while she was in middle school, and she raised her as she was her own child all the way through high school graduation. The words from one of our nomination forms probably sums up Molly's contributions better than I ever could. This person who nominated Molly said, Molly is a Danbury grad who manages Jamestown Tavern and has hosted many fundraisers for our Danbury kids in need. She hosts team feeds and her business sponsors a Danbury family every Christmas. She also uses her trending board to raise awareness for social justice and folks in need of assistance. She is non-judgmental and caring. She even took one of our students as her own and threw her a graduation party. Molly is a quiet leader, but she's an asset to our community. This morning, I want you to help me, to help us. Thank Molly for all that you do support to support our students and our community. You are a true leader, and it's my privilege to present to you today our Danbury Core Leadership Award. Please help me thank Molly.
morning, Lakers. Morning. So, I'm here to talk about Mr. Dick Heller. And some of our teachers and our superintendent, I recently learned, have known Mr. Heller for, for a pretty long time. Um, I've only known him for a few years, but in that time, he's consistently demonstrated his integrity, his passion for our students, and his calm, focused leadership. Mr. Heller started his time at Danbury as the coordinator for our TMT mentoring program, kind of connecting middle school students with mentors from the community and helping to shape our future leaders. He and I used to talk once a month about the student I was mentoring and also about how I had failed once again to turn in my mentoring log sheets on time. Um, Mr. Heller, if you have to learn, I still struggle with that. Um, it's really not you, it's me. This is his second year serving us as our avid teacher and varsity girls basketball coach. And then early this school year, he was unexpectedly asked to take over as long-term substitute in medical science. And he's risen to that challenge as well. So these awards weren't a popularity contest, and we didn't award them by counting votes. But even if we had, Mr. Heller would be sitting up here this morning. That many people nominated Mr. Heller as one of our Danbury leaders. Um, he was nominated by middle school students, he was nominated by athletes, he was nominated by Danbury staff members. Um, that alone speaks volumes. Here are a few of the words from the nominations. Mr. Heller is helping and showing leadership in class by taking on a position that was not very easy to teach, and that's from a Danbury middle school student. Mr. Heller is always willing to step in and help in any situation as both a middle school science teacher and as a girls varsity basketball coach. As the ALEC teacher, he has really helped some difficult kids have success, and I've seen improvements in those kids in the regular classroom this year. He has high standards and expects the students and athletes to meet those standards. That's from a Danbury staff member. He took over a big role in our science class, and he has done a lot to help us. That's from a Danbury middle school student. He took over as a long-term software teacher. He's done a fantastic job. It's not easy to slide into someone else's classroom and follow their system to keep stability for the students. I applaud his dedication to our students and thank him for all that he does. That's from another day very sad. With all of that said, it's a great honor for me to present the Staff Leadership Award to Richard Heller this morning. Again, good morning, Lakers. Good morning. Today I have the pleasure and the honor to recognize a third grader for her willingness to help others as a true leader. Is one born a leader, or does one have to learn to be a leader over time? Just like anything else in life, if you work at it, if you practice, study, and focus your goals, you can accomplish anything. That best describes Gabby Norman. <laughs> Take it to a year ago, Gabby's second grade was full of personal struggles. Last year, Gabby's second grade teacher's goal each day was to make Gabby smile, which wasn't always easy. But Gabby overcame these personal struggles, and now she is the smile that is on her teacher's face. Gabby was nominated by a friend that shared this. Gabby always makes you feel better. She never talks in the halls. She doesn't say a mean thing to anyone. She is all, when she's asked to help, she always says yes. Gabby is quick to sit with a friend in need, help a classmate by seeing how she can help them through tough moments. 
Thank you, Gabby, for making people feel better about themselves. Thank you for choosing kindness to all. And thank you for stepping up to help with an affirmative yes. Please help me in recognizing the leader before you, Gabby Norman. Gabby has written an acceptance speech for you all today. Thank you for picking me for the Danbury Elementary Leader. I'm very happy to be able to be a role model for my school. Thank you. And now join us at the podium is Coach. Mr. Moore. on Janessa's nomination forms. One student writes, I am nominating Janessa because I feel she is an amazing leader. She is peppy and is very involved in a variety of school activities. Another student wrote, Janessa is always willing to help anyone in need, and she does it in a nice and kind way. I know Mr. Dave is our music teacher, but Janessa is our leader. Another student wrote, Janessa is a very dependable person who gives awesome advice when other students need it. She leads by example and is an outstanding role model. Janessa is a great leader for our high school, middle school band. Everyone looks up to her. Like we've mentioned numerous times this morning, leaders are passionate and professional people who model what it is to be a Laker. And with that in mind, I would like all of us to stand and recognize that our high school student leadership award goes to Ms. Janessa Schultz. Mrs. Mueller would like to come back to the podium to make a few announcements. Well, congratulations to our five recipients. We're super excited to acknowledge you this morning. And like I said, we have over 70 nominations. So we have lots of you in the room that are really striving to be great leaders. And I commend you on that and challenge you 
to keep, keep pressing forward and keep making that difference. And I'm really excited about what's to come as we have our assemblies each year, each month, recognizing each of our core values. So it would be our goal to really keep reaching out and selecting individuals who are really accelerating in each of our core value areas. Now, like I said, I wanted to try to find a way that we could collectively share a video that would highlight what our core values were about. Because our goal is as we get ready to share on our social media feeds um, and we recognize those individuals who demonstrate our core value for that month, as well as we uh, flash out photos and other highlights that you all accomplished, we always try to link those to a hashtag core value. And I kind of stepped back and I thought, well, geez, if I'm a community member, or a grandparent, or someone that does have, doesn't have any connection to the school, I might begin to wonder, well, why is there a picture with L for leadership? Or why is there pictures A for accountability? Or why does that sports picture have hashtag excellence? And so I thought, we really need to just take a moment and find a way to highlight our core values. And like I said, your family, okay? So my philosophy every day when I interact with you is, if you are my own biological children, or my own siblings, or parents, <laughs> Coach Heller, <laughs> how would I want to treat you? How would I want to interact with you? How would I want you to be spoken to? And so I always use that model. And you know what? As we create the video that's going to roll this afternoon, I thought to myself, it wouldn't be fair to air that to the community without first letting my family see it. So I want to take a moment, and I want you to be able to see, before anybody else sees, the core value video that's going to roll, that's going to represent what we, not me, not our staff, we, Danbury Lakers, are all about. So I want you to take a look. It's a three-minute video. There's something special about Danbury schools, and there's this feeling that I get when I walk into the building. There's just something comforting about being here, something hopeful. And it's a school where we all work to be on the same page and where we all believe in the value of caring for and nurturing our students. While at the same time, we're pushing our students to excel and to pursue a life that goes beyond their boundaries. There's not a day that goes by that I'm not working with our staff so that we can move each of our students closer to their individual goals and dreams. And honestly, I think that's what makes us so special. That's what makes us the Danbury Lakers, that collective drive to give our parents and our students the best experience they could ever hope for. And so to that point, a few months ago, at the beginning of the school year, our staff got together to develop a plan that would act as the backbone to our school's belief system. We wanted to embrace core values that represented us, principles that we could live by, so that together we could define what it means to be a true Laker. And we decided that to be a Laker, it first takes leadership, the ability to stand up for what's right and to be strong in your convictions, to believe in yourself so that others will believe in you too, that it takes accountability, to be responsible for your choices, to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and know that at the end of the day, you can make the world a better place, not only for yourself, but for those around you. It takes kindness. We all deserve the same amount of love and respect and support. So open a door for a stranger. Pick up someone who needs it. Tell a friend how much they matter because Lakers should make it a point to show others grace, mercy, compassion. It takes excellence to be a Laker. And that doesn't mean simply being good at something. It means preparing yourself to achieve and learning that the beauty of growing as a person lies within the process of working hard to be your absolute best. It's about relationships because you are our family and friends and we all rely on each other because for the rest of your life, there is no place you will go where as many people will have shared your experiences and will understand your journey more than those from your hometown. It takes service to put in time and effort to help others, to learn that life's rewards come from earning them. You see, I have this philosophy that it's every kid, every day. And so that's what we focus on, that each Danbury student deserves our complete attention. 
and should have the same opportunity at a well-rounded future. And it's my job and the job of our Danbury staff to see to it that every day, every Danbury student is on track to be a Laker for life.